Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the Zeta Plus A1. It is a raid. It is uh, a level 1, 600 point raid in this case. There is a level 2 at 650. I just didn't get it. Um, I did the full step up on my main account. I did buy the, like, 30-some tokens I needed to get it, uh, get it all. Then I went over to my alternate account and got the A1 uh, as the uh, free three star on my free ten spin. Then I got a duplicate A1 as the uh, as a three star on my half price ten spin. So yeah, probably should have done those before I spent money. But either way, at least I got the Nemo three out of that. But uh, yeah, the Zeta Plus A1 is pretty good. It has uh, double beam cannons on its hips, which. Uh, fire in tandem in mobile suit mode um they're they're linked that is sorry half asleep but uh they can fire two shots without overheating three shot uh, three rounds will overheat them they do pretty good damage and it's using double beam sabers which hit really hard and uh yeah it's it the only real downside to it is it uses the Hyakushiki beam rifle that, ha that hits relatively well, especially against uh, supports, but it does it does uh, only have four rounds. Uh, so that means since the uh, since the beam guns overheat easily and the beam rifle needs to reload frequently, you have to spend a lot of time with downtime on your weapons in this uh, in this thing. Which, it's mainly built for me uh, melee, I believe. It certainly has all the top slots it can uh, handle. I have a lot of boost and a lot of, uh, a lot of, and all the melee damage I can put on it. Yeah, I saw those people behind me and went, must go forward. And just charge this Zeta, which managed to get over there. And managed to land a shot. Didn't quite get the kill, but somebody did. I believe all my weapons are discharged, so there's that full armor behind me, which managed to tackle and knock me over. Luckily, the enemy team isn't quite on me yet, so that's a good thing, and I'll have a, uh, an opportunity, hopefully, to work on this full armor Gundam. This is this. I just cannot get anything going against this full armor. I think an enemy hit us from behind there, and that's why I couldn't uh, make my swing. Either way, did not make the swing, and now I'm getting attacked from the back. At least got some good hits in on that Mark II. But yeah, it is. I, I just like it. I could not get that. I could not get that full armor Gundam in my sights, no matter how hard I tried. And I'm dead. But yeah, it's it's really quite good. It does. Uh, it does. I guess because it uh, transforms more simply than the uh, regular Zeta, same as the Humber B does. It it doesn't consume a lot of boots transforming in either direction. So it's uh, it's really. Uh, you'll see me fly it for just forever later in this round not to any great effect but i at least do it because i i wanted to be able to show off how long it could fly and also i'm you know trying to take a few pot shots at things here and there but we've got a slight lead and yeah um rifle do, yeah rifle does respectable damage but if you can land uh, all three shots from the uh beam guns they do much more um i don't think i put any kind of cooldown or reload parts on this I just, uh, I just went with, uh, damage, uh, damage and boost, but maybe a little bit of movement speed. It boosts very quickly, and it moves just really, really, uh, really fast in general. Uh, trying to get in there and kill that person, but also it does have the air dash move, which let me get out of my own way and kill that DJ. Got some good shots on that Zeta Plus uh, that's in black and white, and... Got a good shot there. Saber. It managed to dodge. And didn't dodge that. So, yeah. It's... Yeah, the, the Zeta Plus A1 is really quite good. Uh, this is, of course, Amuro Ray's Zeta Plus from uh, Gundam Sentinel, I believe. Uh, either way... Uh, whether it was Amuro's or not, it's definitely a Sentinel mobile suit. So, hopefully, we'll get to see the, you know, the uh, Superior Gundam, the XS Gundam, the... Uh, uh, Zeta Plus C1, I would like, because I just always like that color scheme a little bit better than the A1, as I think I mentioned in today's uh, update video. But, got that shot. And, yeah, we're doing okay. I'm pulling back because I saw a grouping of three enemies, and that's not a good place to be alone. And, let's see, the Hamahama is here with me. I'm trying to, uh, 
trying to give it a little bit of backup, get shots in where I can as always, and waiting for my beam rifle to reload. But the Hama and I are uh, by ourselves, everybody else is dead or trying to take a, uh, take a uh, waypoint here or there. Uh, ultimately, the, uh, ultimately we do get some people back in, but the, uh, as I recall, the Hama Hama and I end up just stuck here and not really, uh, you know, not with a lot of support, which just, it happens, but it, we, we're a little bit spread out in this round, but now you're going to see how far this thing can fly. I saw number two over there, thought they might need help, fired some beam shots, and realized I could not land in the middle of that pile of enemies. I am accelerating this whole way, by the way. That is not just uh, its native amount of boost, that is how far I can boost and how far I can travel while while boosting. So that's pretty good. Trying to point my shield towards the enemy, but yeah, they've got me dead to rights. And yeah, they're starting to get more allies back in here, but they are not near me or the Hama, which unfortunately just blocked my shot. And I tried uh, to take a swing at that Zeta, but somebody else shot me. Yeah, but it would be a good time to group up, especially since the score has narrowed considerably. Uh, we're all just, I mean, we're all in fast, uh, there's like three Zeta Pluses on our team, so we're all in very fast, you know, flighty mobile suits, so it's easy to get split up. Um, should have bazooka this person, wanted to try and walk over and use the knife, did not make it. Also did not survive long enough to, uh, uh, long enough to, uh, do, uh, to get the point. Man, that Mark II's Vulcans are good, because I swear it only hit me with one bullet before I died, and that's 300 hit, uh, health it has to do to do that. Regardless, um, number five, I think, is about to drop, sadly. I'm, yeah, I'm, I am... Sending Bunch up again, because, yeah, we really kind of need to. One minute left, we've got a minor lead, and now is a good time to play defensively, so just going to uh, hit what I can hit. Yeah, as you can see, I can, d depending on what I'm hitting, I can do between 1,100 and 1,700 uh, damage with each vo uh, each round from those, those linked beam cannons. Uh, it's, it's not bad. I can do more to the full armor when I can catch it, but... Oh yeah, it also has level 2 forced injectors, so, uh, uh, one, that's one I always enjoy, just because, yeah, it's it, a, a little bit of being able to zigzag and, and make quick uh, movements always handy. Trying to catch that full armor up there, caught it with one shot for 800, and yeah, I just don't want to risk getting close enough. I would dive in after it in other circumstances, but we are so close to the end of the round and we have a, such a slim lead, especially now, it's a 300 point lead, I'm not going to go play in hero against that thing. I'm going to go try and shoot things over here, and accidentally shooting our Hamahama in the back again. And apologies there, but yeah, Zeta plus A1 is pretty good. I do not place with mine, but uh, I do alright. I, I got more uh, kills than I got uh, deaths, so I'll take it. And let's see, what were my final stats? Um, well, forgot to praise the person who gave us the platinum, but oh well. And let's see, four kills, two deaths, 72,000 damage, 3,200 score. Not bad, really. So that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! And a whole bunch of videos just got pushed back a day or two.